Hey guys, uh, Page 6 just released it, so since they released it, I feel much more comfortable talking about it because um, in David Yontis podcast, Behind the Velvet Rope with Kim D on Patreon Saturdays, um, it, that episode gets dropped on Saturday mornings. And on his last episode, when he was recapping the reunion with Kim D, right after they hung up, apparently Kim D like wanted to go back onto Zoom. And, um, you know, she said that she just got a call from Vanessa Louis X. And apparently he just came back from Puerto Rico and she served him with a, with a temporary restraining order. Page six. Um, just dropped it, and, but I wanted to wait before I made a video because I tend to feel that page six does a little bit more diligence than Kim D and David does. And I, I love David's podcast. I, I think David's a little bit more neutral than Kim D. I think, and Kim D is great. You know, she stakes her opinion, but I do feel that she feels biased towards certain cast members, namely Teresa. She feels that Teresa has the power to get rid of her or fire her. Like, I, I think she feels that, like, you know, she... So Kim D was never a cast member, but I think she feels that, like, she is the reason why Bravo no longer... Um, wants to film her. But again, you know, and she says that Teresa has a lot of power. But, you know, Jacqueline made a very excellent point. Jacqueline Lorita, she said, look, if Teresa had the power to hire or fire people, the Gorgers would no longer be on. Melissa would no longer be on the show. She's been on the show for 10 years. So, no, like Teresa doesn't have that power, you know. I I do think that it's kind of like in um I, I do think that's kind of like in Kim D's head a little bit because I do think that she she is upset and she does feel a certain way about Teresa. I think she does blame her that she's no longer on Real Housewife in New Jersey. But anyway, so Page six release it. And the reason why I was waiting for page six to release it was because again, um, they do a little bit more diligence. So of course they, you know, went into the whole story of what happened and everything. And they spoke with, um, Doug Anton, which is, I guess, Vanessa's lawyer. But here was a very interesting fact because unlike Kim D, Page six always gets the other side of the story. And a, a source that I guess is close to Vanessa says, you know, she's notorious for doing this sort of stuff. She was getting restraining orders left and right on her ex, like n not her ex Louis, her ex-husband. And the source also says something else that was very interesting. If she is so scared of Louie and this is her claim, why is she going on all these podcasts? Why is she going, like, why is she befriending all of these people with connections to the Real Housewife of New Jersey cast? Why is she, you know, why does she move to New Jersey? That was really interesting. Like, she is not from New Jersey. Like, she moved recently to New Jersey. You're so scared of your ex that you moved to New Jersey to be closer to him because you were further away before. But now you're like, so I kind of feel like she is thirsty. She wants her 15 minutes. She wants to kind of, you know, everything that they're blaming Laura on. Like, no, don't put that energy on Laura, Margaret's ex-best friend of 40 years. Put that energy on Louis' ex of one and a half years. This woman has been with Louie for one and a half years and she's acting as if they were together for 40 years. So I don't understand like why Laura's getting all this hate when they've been together, when they've been friends for 40 years, her and Margaret. But meanwhile, Louie's getting all this hate from some ex who he's been with for a year and a half who like moves to New Jersey where she's closer to him, claims she's so scared and, and she's threatened and she feels this certain way. But 
you're going on all these podcasts talking about him. You're like giving pictures of of you and him together. Like those pictures of of her and Louis came from her Instagram. It came from her. It didn't come from Louis. So like you like like I don't know. I have pictures of my exes who like if I feel the way that she feels, I don't keep pictures of them. Like it like like who can use pictures of their ex? I, I like it's so weird. So you had such a bad relationship with this guy that you kept pictures of him? Like and but the source also said, you know, her her MO isn't her MO isn't in alignment with people who are actually in these situations. People who are in these sort of situation don't go on podcasts. They don't move to a, so apparently she lived in New York and she moved to New Jersey recently. I'm talking like within the last year. And and the source was like, you know, she has been known to do this. She was getting restraining orders. She's using the court system. She is playing that victim mentality that like, you know, she wants to accuse Louis as of being a narcissist, but like she comes off as a scorn lover. And another thing that was interesting that the source brought up, and again, this is on page six, um, and which is why I waited for page six to announce this before I did the video, because again, page six always gets both sides. Why are you calling up a well-known podcaster that covers Real Housewife of New Jersey to let them know so that they could air it on their podcast because you want the world to know. The only thing that you're scared, and the source actually said, the only thing that she's scared of is not getting any more attention. Excellent point. You're so scared that you called up Kim D and you wanted Kim D to know. And the reason why she wanted Kim D to know was because she wanted David to put it out there. Like, that's how scared you are. Like you, like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I feel like she's the one that is like annoying him. Like she comes off as like a psycho and you know, I know that a lot of guys get like, you know, when, when relationship breaks up, it's like, you know, the guys are narcissists and then the, the women are scorned lovers. But the only thing I could say about that is watch Lifetime movies because Lifetime movies, you, you get the wackadoo guys. And then sometimes Lifetime shows movies where you get the wackadoo girls, you know, so. And, and Kim D even mentioned it when, when she came back onto the Zoom with David. She's like, look, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens because she keeps saying it's him, but he keeps saying it's her. I think it's very interesting that David does not have her on his show. Um, I'm sure she's trying to get on his show, but he does not put her on her show, on his show. And I think it's because Dave, probably David probably has said to Kim D like look if she's so scared of him why is she moving to New Jersey why is she going to all these podcasts why is she calling you like to <laughs> to let us know like it's you know so read that article on page six again it's great stuff because page six always gets both sides of the story